is it so often the case that a woman's business is smaller than the average business of a man? My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen building a business and becoming a leader. A business leader and even sometimes the leader in your industry if you really think big. And that's exactly where we are talking about today. Because what is the difference? Many men and women think big. Women can think very, very big and have huge goals and huge desires. Same as men. I don't, well, there are women who, who tend to think small, but there are also women who think big. The difference though is that you have to act big. And what is acting big for a woman, which is very much out of the comfort zone, often eh? acting big is always out of your comfort zone, is usually different for men. They have different examples, they have different attitudes, they have different emotions, they have different beliefs. Um, so for them, what is thing, acting big is different than for us. For them, doing business skills is more natural. Um, for them, uh, both have self-confidence issues, men and women. Yet, women entertain their self-confidence issues. They listen to it, they let it shape the way they act. Men just ignore it. They do it anyway, and I know that because I've seen it, and I used to be exactly the same. And it's, it's really funny, I used to be a very masculine businesswoman. I am now becoming so much more feminine, and guess what? I am now also starting to entertain my lack of self-confidence, which is crazy. Sorry for my voice. I have been very ill and I have not been able to create videos for three weeks. Um, so there's, there's a big difference between how men operate and how women operate. Now there are masculine businesswomen who, like, like I used to be, who become very successful. It often comes with a cost though. Because there's always this, the lack of self-confidence. I even heard it in an interview yesterday of the Prime Minister of New Zealand, who is a woman. Yet she achieved a lot. But she said, I suffer from the same. The thing is, how much do you entertain it? If you entertain it a lot, you will not become successful. Because your actions are small, you think small. If you don't entertain it, you have huge potential. Business can be a very masculine arena. We need masculine and feminine skills to become successful in business. And I created a webinar about it. The differences, how to integrate them and how to harmonize both of them. And it's a free webinar. I'm not even asking for your email address. It's that free. Or why don't you schedule a quick 15 minute call with me and we can just talk about anything you want to scale and grow your business because that's what is my mission. Helping women to build bigger businesses because that is when the masculine business arena will change. There will be a pivoting point when still, uh, there are more women in politics. I just gave you an example. There are a lot more women in boards and in uh, managing and directing uh, directors um, positions. There are few women who build huge businesses. 
Yes, there are less women building businesses. Eh? There's 33% of every uh, business that starts in my country, or 37, depends which chart you uh, pick, um, or which year, is women. So a third of the amount of businesses are operated by women, but they still remain very small. And I'm talking about why this is the case and what you can do about it to change this. And one thing, and it's not the only thing, but it does start with harmonizing the masculine and feminine. And then learning a lot of masculine business skills. Planning, focus, strategic thinking, scaling. A lot more. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this content. I always love creating these videos. Um, check my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. Do sign up for it because then you will get the videos automatically. And I'm looking forward to inspire you again next week. Bye-bye.